Hey guys, today's project is based off of The Magical Hut from the new season of The Witcher on Netflix. As soon as I watched the show and saw this hut, I thought it would be great to try to make a miniature of, and here is my attempt. I started off by cutting some pieces of foam board for the general structure of the hut and popped out some holes for the two windows in front. Then before I put anything onto the wall, I painted it this brown in case anything shows through. And I also chopped this down a little bit because the scale was a little off. For the base, I used my normal MDF board because I wanted it to be a little stronger to mount to. Then I started the process of cutting lots of pieces of wood for the walls. I used balsa wood and didn't worry that it wasn't rounded logs like a normal log hut cabin. I was going to make it look like that a different way. Then I cut out the holes where the windows are going. To start aging and weathering these boards, I used a couple different tools to rough them up and then gave it a coat of primer. To make the wood boards stand out a little more, I painted in the creases some black paint. This looks a little ridiculous now, but you'll see it looks a lot better once it's all blended in. To start staining the wood, I'm using this brown ink and I do a couple different coats of this before adding a matte varnish to seal it and using some more paints. I really enjoyed adding some different colors like this moss green to make it look like it's been there and weathered and things are growing on it for a long time. Once I sealed it, I also sprayed some water on it before adding paints and that just allowed them to meld together and be a little more organic. Now to make it look like it is more of an actual log cabin construction, I started cutting tons of these little circle pieces from a wooden dowel. This just saved a lot of time and materials and still made it look a little bit more like a little log cabin. I 3D printed the actual window frames to fit the holes that I had cut and just primed them here. To make this a little more dirtied up, I put some glue in the corners with the logs and added some actual dirt that I ground up in a coffee grinder to make a little more fine. And I added that in a couple other places as well before starting to use some pigment powders and some foam flocking in different areas to make moss and dirt and just really start weathering this whole piece. Now here I started to add some of the roots and things on the bottom from where it lifted out of the ground and stood up. I think when the show designed this hut, it was very inspired by the Baba Yaga hut that has legs just like this one and stands up out of the ground. From here, I started to make the structure for the roof. I knew it needed to be a thatched roof, but I wanted to make a structure that I could start gluing these onto. And then the inspector came to make sure I was doing a good job. My idea was to take these whisk brooms and cut the material off and begin using that as the thatching. So I started doing that and I spent actually a few hours and I started to realize after the inspector told me so, it, this might not be working so well. So I've definitely been working on this thatched roof material for a number of hours at this point. Um, and using this broom stuff, it's just way too thick and stiff and too big of a scale. I just don't think it's gonna work. I'm not gonna be able to mold it the way I want. So I think I'm gonna have to call this a failure and uh, order some different supplies. So while I waited for my thatching material to come in, I started making this on top of the roof structure. I used some of this wire mesh for clay sculpting to make more of an organic shape to the roof that I thought would work better for gluing the thatching onto. Then after watching a tutorial or two, 
I took some white silicone glue, started spreading it out and adding this thatch material into the glue and allowing that to dry in different patches along up the roof. This was definitely way easier to work with and better for the scale. So now I'm going to work on some legs. I used these black pipes to create a shape and added tin foil to it to give the clay something to grab onto. So I added my Super Scopey oven baked clay and did not really spend too much time here. I really just wanted to get the basic shapes of these legs and I knew they didn't have to be very detailed for what they were going to be. So after they were baked, I decided to mix up some joint compound and paint so that it was a darker color and add that to them to give it a little more of a texture. Then finally I just sprayed some watered down PVA glue and added a bunch of dirt to the legs. So they didn't need very much detail, they were just kind of legs that came out of the ground. Next, I really wanted to work on some large pine trees for the scene that this hut was going to be in. It was quite a large scale compared to most tutorials that I found, and so I ended up taking a tutorial that I found from Luke Towen that was supposed to be for a much smaller scale and kind of made it my own in this large scale. I took these wooden dowels and added joint compound to them. Once they were dry, I textured them with a wire brush and then painted them. I also dry brushed a lighter color brown to add a little bit more detail to the raised edges. For this part I use this coconut fiber stuff that you can get for plants and check out Luke Toen's video that I linked in the description to see how he uses them and kind of models them into this shape for trees. Then it was the really fun part, making the scene to film and photograph. After a couple hours of my brother and I setting this whole scene up and putting the lights in the right place, this is what we ended up with. Behold, the mother of forests, the deathless mother, nesting in dreams. Turn your back to the forest, hut, hut. Turn your front to me, hut, hut. I just wanted to say thank you to all my patrons who support me each month financially and keeps this channel going and for everyone that's made 2021 such a great year i'm so happy to get this first project 2022 out there for all you and if you liked it hit the like button subscribe to see everything that's going to happen on this channel in the next year and i'm so excited to get back into maybe some interiors and things that i haven't done for a little while and see what we can do in the next couple months thanks again see you later